Hi, this is Tim from CPU Cores, and we're going to show you a quick little uh, demonstration of using the CPU Core software with the Tomb Raider game. And we're going to show you the before and after effects of using CPU Cores. And we're just going to run the Tomb Raider benchmark and just go by that. So here's Tomb Raider. Uh, if we go to the options, you can kind of see what our settings are here. Pretty much everything is set to Ultra. We're going to hit OK. And we have a dual core Intel G3258 processor. So this is a dual core uh, example with a GTX uh, 960 video card. So we're just going to minimize this and we're just going to load it up and play Tomb Raider with the built-in benchmark. I'm actually going to arrange this a little bit better so you can see the little fraps number up there. And we're just going to do the benchmark. So this is without CPU cores, this is just whatever the default, uh, whatever the default Tomb Raider can do. Um, standard Windows, everything is standard here. Now this game is a pretty graphical game. Um, I think it's a pretty fun game. But uh, at the benchmark will basically circle around, um, I'm guessing this is Laura Croft. Um, I haven't played too much of this game, but I've played a ton of the other Tomb Raider games. But yeah, so the camera is just going to go all the way around showing her being shipwrecked. It's a pretty quick benchmark. I think we're about halfway, halfway through here. I think the graphics are wonderful on this game. I think this is a pretty good example. Um, I'm looking at my task manager right now. Um, this, this video recording is 1280 by 720, but my monitor is larger just so I can uh, handle the video recording and make this video for us here. But yeah, my task manager is showing uh, about right around 85 to 100% CPU, kind of hovering right around there. So it should be pretty close to being done here. So let us write this down real quick. Um, let's see. What's the best way for me to write this down? Okay, I have opened up a notepad document. So let me bring this over here. So we're going to say normal tomb raider was uh, min 36 FPS. Let's just correct this a little bit. And then uh, max was 68 FPS. Makes it a little bit better. And the average was 52.2 FPS. All right, so that's Tomb Raider. Let's bring this over here. And now we're going to run it with CPU cores. So let's just exit out of here. And now we're going to launch it with CPU cores. So here is CPU cores. And we are going to go and search for Tomb. And we have hyperthreading disabled. Uh, this particular processor doesn't have hyperthreading anyway. Um, but you'll generally you'll want to disable this. Hyperthreading creates a virtual core for every real core that you have. And some games can only handle maybe two cores. And if your game can only handle two cores, you, you want to make sure it gets two real cores, not a real core and then a fake hyper-threaded core. So we have this um, uh, set, and then we have a dual core processor. And generally speaking, you want to make sure this option is not selected. And then the third option, isolate operating system to the first core. So CPU cores, let me bring up the task manager here. CPU cores will take, when you run it, it'll take all your default OS um, uh, all your Windows processes, any antivirus scans, your Firefox, Chrome, whatever it is, it'll isolate it and take care of it on the first core, dedicating a second core specifically for your game. Your game can still, depending on what options you have enabled, can also leech on over to the uh, operating system core. But it makes things a lot more efficient. And so, yeah, we're going to configure it like this, and we're going to hit Start Game, and then we're going to do the uh, same um, in-game benchmark um, that we did before. So let's just minimize this now. And again, all the options are the same. So you can see here, everything is the exact same. And we're hit play. And I'm going to make sure this is on the screen nice and even. And we are going to do the exact same benchmark that we did before. So again, it's just going to twirl around here. Here. 
Now, the thing with CPU cores is uh, the increase in FPS is going to matter. Um, it, it's going to be impacted a lot by the CPU that your system has um, and how the actual game is programmed. Some games are very GPU heavy and barely use any CPU at all. Those games you won't see as much of an impact. Most games are, are generally you know, a mix between CPU and GPU heavy. Those games you will see an impact. And if a game is very CPU heavy, that's generally the type of game that you'll see the most impact. So it's probably about done here. So here we go. Let's jot this down. So with CPU cores, um, let me actually show you something real quick here. Here is the uh, usage of Tomb Raider as things are smoothed out. We, we see this core has a little bit more going on because of all the operating stuff being crammed into it. And this core has, you know, the paused version of Tomb Raider here. But let's, let's take a look here. With CPU cores, Tomb Raider. We have min uh, 38 FPS, max 74 FPS, average is 55.7 FPS. So if we do a little bit of math here, we're just going to take a look at the average. Um, we have a 3.5% or sorry, 3.5% plus 3.5 FPS equals, if we just bust out a calculator here, we have, let's see, let me get my calculator ready. Uh, where is it? All right, so here we go. So we can just take the old number, 52.2, divided by the 55.7. So we've got, uh, let's say it's about 6.3%. So 6.3% um, FPS increase. And that's a pretty decent amount. And uh, again, this is just a dual core processor. This is a very simple um, machine. It's it's generally the average of what a uh, Steam user would use. About 50% of all Steam users have a dual core processor, and we're running a game on the absolute maximum, you know, setting. So a 6.3% uh, FPS increase is pretty decent. So again, this is Tomb Raider uh, demonstration with um, the CPU core software, and I hope this video was informational, and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about the software. And happy gaming.